Still no decision tonight as to whether or not students will return to the classroom in the Fresno Unified School District this fall. CBS 47's Kaylee Hunt spoke with the Fresno County Health Department and Fresno Unified about why they're holding off on giving a firm answer. Kaylee. Well, Bob Nelson with Fresno Unified says he speaks with health officials daily and he does plan on coming forward with a firm answer by the end of this week. When kids are ready to come back, what will that look like? That's the question that hasn't been answered just yet. But Fresno Unified Superintendent Bob Nelson says he will come out with an answer soon. Other major urban districts across the state, Los Angeles, San Diego, Long Beach, Santa Ana, have all decided to pursue distance learning. So we're contemplating that for Fresno. Fresno Unified services 74,000 students. We need to make responsible choices in collaboration with the health leaders in our city to make sure that we are not a contributing factor, for example, to hospitals getting swamped and not being able to meet their obligations. Nelson says he has been on daily calls with health officials and coming out with an answer on whether they will or won't return relies heavily on our current COVID-19 numbers. We all want kids back in school. There's, there's no doubt. We just have to do it safely and we have to control the community spread. Dr. Reyes Flores says Fresno County has not flattened the curve and is seeing a continuous rise in cases. And since this virus is still so new, they don't know the lingering effects it may have on children. Our colleagues at the Children's Hospital are telling us about hospitalized kids because of COVID. And you really have to take that into account. Now the first day of school is August 17th and Bob Nelson says he will come forward with a firm answer this upcoming Friday. For now reporting live in Fresno, I'm Keely Hunt, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.